this trial? It appears that way. Uh, there are five days in August. We uh, elected this afternoon to call no evidence, and uh, both accused made that election uh, this afternoon. And so the dates in August that are uh, available would be uh, for final argument. If the judge had not said that she would entertain the Crown's arguments that the Carter application should be invoked, could we have ended this sooner? Oh, for sure. I mean, Carter's, the Carter application has taken up a, a major part of the trial time. And, and if we look at it was brought a few weeks before the trial started, and long after we had scheduled 10 days for this trial. And the reason, a big part of the reason for the delay in the trial from the 10 days that it was all scheduled to be done to the plus 30 days that it's now taken is because of the car crash. So, if we're looking at September, if this goes until September, mm -hmm. this is a mischief trial that has gone on for a year. Right. Now, is there something wrong with Canadian law? Or this <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, I certainly don't think there's anything wrong with the defense counsel. I mean, you know, we've, we've no. done our job. Uh, is there a problem with the way and, and the the manner in which this case has been presented as a mischief charge? Absolutely. Um, fortunately, this is not the way that 99% of mischief charges go. They don't typically take, you know, in the vicinity of 40 days of court time. If that were the case, nobody would ever, you know, receive justice in the Canadian justice system. So this case is, is highly unusual. The amount of time that it's taken, highly unfortunate. And, uh, you know, as to why it's taken this long, it's, it's really, you know, not for me to say, not well, for me to point fingers. Why do you think the Crown is so obsessed with labeling Tamara Leach and Chris Barber as co-conspirators? Because I've been here from day one. I have not seen a whole lot of evidence that they did anything together or separately that should have led to these charges. So why are they so obsessed with this co-conspirator label? I think that's really a question that should be addressed to the Crown. Uh, I suspect that because there were a whole bunch of people in the Ottawa downtown core who were inconvenienced and in some cases temporarily uh, uncomfortable, that that is possibly the engine for the intensity in which this prosecution is taking place. Thank you, sir. Yeah.